Alright guys, welcome back to the Let's Play. Hypnos back here again. And today we're going through the level that Ray did not want to do. It's Blind Bailey. And it's a really, really apt name because you can't see shit during the level. And it's a double exit level, so it took a bit longer than normal. As you can see, notice all the trees in the foreground rather than the background. And the Coopers with the shells everywhere. And yet, in case you didn't notice, they can actually catch the power blocks, so... Much fun will be had in this level. Because it's all about judging patterns by what little bits you can see. And, you know, obviously save states were of great, great use to all of us in this level. And I've grown to hate these shoulder scoopers even more than I do the para coopers. Because you just can't see what's going on. And yes, they brought back the Triceratops minis. Bear in mind that these little fuckers will breathe fire at times. And you can't see that over the trees either. Always, always in good fun. Fuck you, Axel Jinx, I hope you die. And I don't even know if I got the name right there, I'm just more concerned about threatening him than anything else. Notice the Koopas with the little wings leaping around, you can't see them. More Koopa. At least this one you can see bits and pieces of. I'm going for the secret exit first this time around, it's really close to the beginning. And completely fucking obvious, which is probably the only good thing about this level. Take this out. Damn power blocks. Yoshi coin up here, one of many. And here's our little go to the secret exit. Can't see that either, but I had to remember where I did, because I put it down there. Oh yes. Now this secret exit is all about jumping on shells. Or evading shells, or not getting killed by shells, but mostly jumping on shells. You'll see why in a second. And yeah, we got undead Coopers and Thwomps in a tree-themed level, so I don't know what's going on there. And fire. Fire's good. Fire is always good. Not when it's aimed at me, but okay, so I guess that means it's not always good, but... By and large, fire is good when you have the fire flower. Which you always, always want on this level, because... Well, it's about the safest way to move through anything when you can just shoot it rather than having to worry about where it is. Probably notice I'm not actually bothering to try and do this without getting hit. I did that. This this particular video is the uh, compilation of about 30 minutes work, and I just gave up bothering. Yeah, they hit the key behind one of them as well, bastards. <coughs> but that is the secret exit, which actually takes us back up around here. I didn't go through here, but it actually leads back to uh, world three or four. I forget which. So I'm going to do the proper exit this time. Yeah. No power-ups, of course, because I wasted them all on the secret exit. And whoever taught those Coopers to pick up and throw power blocks back at you needs to burn in hell. Seriously. Coopers should not learn how to throw blocks. They should be restricted to throwing their own shells at you. And other Cooper shells, because we all know they're communists and have no sense of personal property. I'm not going for all the Yoshi coins in this level, or really any of them. Because there's just too many detours involved in getting them, and I'd run over time for the video. Now we have red Coopers, more communist Coopers. Red Triceratops, more communist Triceratops that breathe red fire. Sensing a pattern here, I know I am. Uh, jokes aside, these Triceratops, at least they're not breathing fire like they normally do. And this is a, yay, very, very tall midpoint, which I don't think I even bothered getting. No, I didn't. Okay, why do we need a midpoint that tall? Is it some sort of giant phallic replacement symbol, or... I don't know. I don't know. I think it's where it gets fun. Or it will in a second. We have moles, hidden in the trees. Flying coopers, hidden in the trees. Lots of things hidden in the trees in this level. We have the baseball throwers hidden in the trees, and I bet you didn't realise that the trees hide their baseballs as well. So, and yeah, if you don't kill that mole, he respawns. Leap of Faith here, which is always a dick move by level designers everywhere. And here comes the fun part. Lots and lots of the bull rushing jocks in a section where you can't actually see them. It's all about working out where they'll be based on their patterns. And if you haven't faced enough of them down in the past, you're going to lose. But, of course, having played many, many Mario games and lots of rise to the challenge, I have a pretty good idea of how the bastards move they killed me often enough. Eh, baseballs. This one you can actually see properly, so it's not that bad. 
three bits because I really want that bastard dead. I've gone homicide. It's not enough to get past them, you must mutilate them beyond recognition. Fire launchers, they're easy, despite not being able to see what the hell is going on. They, the timing on them is different. And yet they stuck one right at the end where you can't see him so that he'll screw you if you don't have any power-ups. Fortunately I did, so it's easy to get around this time. And this leads us back down to Sunken sh Ship Saga, which Ray's already done. So we're going to go look through Bowser's you know, pole in the mouth and see what's up next. And it is Slip Slide Ride, I believe.